what's up guys so welcome back to another life after video and today we can already see a new update has been released i'm always late on making these updates yeah i missed out the previous update because i literally did not know what to show in that update or in that video but they keep adding the same things over and over so i don't really know how is that interesting but you know as i said or didn't i say yet that all i want from life after is like a pvp map or something like that or a new pve map at least but most importantly i just want pvp maps because pvp is mostly the only thing i do in this game not all of the time but i really enjoy pvp and maybe less durability usage because you know, in life after you lose your ability very fast and it's really annoying. So I can see they made some small changes. They made these mod icons smaller a little bit. I don't know how I feel about the skin. It's kind of, it, it's, it's cute. I mean, the skin is cute, but uh, it costs 2.2k feds, which is a lot. And they kind of changed the shop. I mean, guys, it, it's important to change the design of the shop, you know. The biggest thing in this update is Hope Valley. So... You guys know everyone starts in Hope Valley at the very start of your game. That's where you pass a tutorial. This thing has one star, two star, and three star, and it has a four star too. But I think four star is hard for us, and it's not worth the combat XP. Um, <laughs> it gives you skill points, and that's a great thing, okay? It, it gives you skill points and new dollars. So it's like Miska, but it does not give you gold. It's mainly just skill points. And I think it gives you like 30k or something because... Okay, let's just do this because I haven't done this yet. I don't know how is this done. So let's see. But I've been told that the bosses require Molotovs or something like that. I cannot use my drone, which sucks. So there's going to be a lot of zombies here that we will have to kill. And the sound is really weird. Like, it's really weird, dude. Also, um, it says that... Let's see. Hold on. It... Okay, so we have 95 durability reduced, so it's like Miska. We do not lose a lot of durability. The zombies do a lot of damage, though. God. And I don't think I brought a GL, so... That's a pro... Okay, so I did bring a GL. I will swap to that. And I'll just get rid of these zombies. But man, dude, they're actually pretty strong. This is like Miska version 2, but zombies are hella hard, dude. I don't think you get ammo here though, so you have to bring your own ammo. Anyways, let's go in. Let's see what we have here. Use a torch to push back the beetles. Beetles can be damaged when turn over. Yeah, great. So, you guys know this glitch. Um, basically run and loot a box. And that's how you loot this torch. So, I guess we're gonna just use a torch to scare them away, right? So, I can't attack with a torch, obviously. Okay. Oh, ow, ow. Did not attack me, brother. What are we supposed to do here? Are we supposed to kill it? I mean, we can't kill it because it's... Yeah, I have no idea what to do here. Can't use drone in this scenario, so we actually can't use drones in here. So that sucks. So I think we have to just uh, bait that beetle into the fire. I think that's how it works. But it's not listening, dude. It's just doing some stupid stuff. There we go. There we go. Now he's listening. Okay, do not, do not do that to me. You stupid beetle. There we go. It's going. It's going. This takes so long, actually, guys. Oh my god. Okay. Go, 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 go. Burn, dude. You're gonna burn, man. Rip. You're dead. You're dead. There we go. He's dead. Okay, so everyone has to gather here. I'm gonna swap my mods again. Put those 10 star mods. And to be honest, this actually does look hard, you know? It does look hard. And it's gonna take forever to complete this. I'm gonna eat another puffer fish because, guys, I have a lot of those. So, here, someone told me that you don't have to kill any of those beetles. All you have to do is just uh, loot those panels. I mean, repair them, not loot them. And the beetles can't reach you. So that's it. That's all you have to do. Repair all of them. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Ren, you're getting screwed by those beetles. Dude, that's a lot of them. There's a box. Not sure what it gives. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna loot this anyways. Let's see what do we get. I wanna loot this. I wanna see what do we get. And I get some wooden stones. What is that for? Probably for building the tower. So yeah, for this part, just don't touch the ground. Actually, you can touch the ground. Nothing will happen. But don't stay on the ground too long. 
you'll get electrocuted. That's what's gonna happen. I mean, it's pretty cool that we get to explore Hope Valley here because we got to explore it for the first time and now we can do it again. You know, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so everyone has to gather here again, get all the group in and somehow we get teleported. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the cutscenes because they seem boring and it's a waste of time. Um, do we have to talk to those guys? Arthur, I don't think we need to. Ingrid, I guess I'll just talk to them and skip all the things they say. Go across the... So we have to go across this bridge. So we gotta clean up the infected here. That's what's gonna happen. Seems easy to do. I'll just uh, use my rifle here. That's it. I should be using my GL, but my mods are on this rifle, so whatevs. I have never owned a snow GL or any other GL. I just have a collector's edition. It's collector's edition isn't that great on zombies. I mean, snow is way better, so you might want to use snow. It's five eyes can be damaged by molotovs, so we will need to get molotovs. And molotovs are obtained from these airdrops that pop out from the sky. Suddenly, we should get one airdrop landing down. I'm gonna eat a puffer fish. So we just gotta stock up on molotovs. And oh boy, he came here. Get those molotovs. We got. I got like 30 molotovs or something. Yeah, 30 molotovs. That's a lot. I'll put my mods on my A2, and we just gotta shoot this guy out. This is legit what we have to do. Throw some molotovs on him, and then, you know, shoot him. But, uh, as you can see, if you don't throw the molotovs, though, he's not gonna flip over, and you won't be able to damage him. Alright, there we go. He flipped over. We're doing some damage again. I'm gonna run out of ammo, so that's not good. And, uh, yeah, make sure to shoot his eye. I'll use my own ammo box. What else? So, I think we're just waiting here for airdrops to, you know, get more molotovs because we will need those molotovs for later stages. And yeah, I'll just keep looting those airdrops for more molotovs. Another airdrop just popped out, as you can see. So, we just gotta wait for more molotovs. This actually takes way too long, and I don't know if this is a great thing or not, but everyone's using molotovs right now, so let's just drop those molotovs. Let's keep it going. He's gonna flip over and let's kill him. Ah, we're so close, man. He almost died. Okay, there we go. He's dead. Open up and we can move on. Burn away the wines and then the iron shards will naturally scatter. So just throw a Molotov and yeah, that's it. Uh, we burned the wines down, basically. I need my bat with me. Let's actually put in my bat in. Hella beetles here, guys. And they don't flip over. We have a troll, a Molotov to kill them, so. There we go. Control the Molotov, make him burn, and then you just use your rifle or GL if you like. The worst part is that I cannot use drones in this scenario. That sucks. We get a metal box. I don't know what these things are for. I think we get special gunpowder. Am I supposed to craft anything out of the stuff I get from these boxes or what? Because I don't know what this stuff is for. Special gunpowder and does not say what it's used for. And there's no ladder here anymore. Wow, so we have to just jump down. Ah, uh, Alexei, look at you, bro. Rip. We don't have Alexei anymore, though, guys. He's gone. He's long gone. Ah, the memories, the nostalgia. And this is where we started, guys. This is where we started our life after journey. We have one FK. I don't know what's going on. You know, the weirdest thing here is why can't we just jump over here? This is like literally easily accessible. But there's like an invisible wall. They want us to go all the way around that thing. So stupid. Okay, here comes Molotovs. Show these things. Out of nowhere, he starts building barricades, which is really weird. But hey, man, it's whatever. All right, he flipped over. Let's get him. Get him, boys. Shoot his eyes. Man, he looks like a nasty, nasty, ugly beetle. God damn. How'd you do that, bro? He's starting to heal, boys. Not good. We don't want that. Alright, he flipped over. Reload my A2. Come on, come on. Let's get that damage in, boys. Should be able to kill him this time. We should be able to kill this time. There we go. He's dead. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. We survived. That's good. That's all I wanted. Just to survive. Nope. Do not touch me. Do not touch me, Biddle. I'm gonna loot this airdrop and get the hell out of here. There we go. So someone has already died here. Am I supposed to go through here or what? Well, this is pretty cool, you know, but it takes way too long. Hope Valley takes way too long, man. This game has too much to do. So we blew into the laboratory, I guess. Skipping all the cutscenes. What the hell just happened? Did we just get back into the same thing? 
we literally ended up at the same spot where we came true that's weird we're literally circling around I'm, I'm not sure what's going on here but uh, this is the final boss battle damn bro this guy is crazy let's keep throwing molotov so he flips over and then we kill him oh no leave me alone mr. beetle there we go let's get him let's get him there's actually not a difference between snow and collector's edition a2 because i do the same amount of damage literally 83 with snow and 83 with collectors so is he gonna flip yet come on man flip just flip i want you dead already this fella is not flipping over guys it's taking hella long dude he ain't flipping i'm out of molotovs that's not good that's not good he got me dude i'm bleeding i'm just gonna rely on my puffer fishes guys because that's the only way how i can survive also, these drones, we have to start them, I'm pretty sure, so they can do some damage to the guy. There's another drone right over here, but no one started it. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to start the drones, and then we're supposed to throw the molds out. There we go, he flipped over again. But we were supposed to have the drones out. As you can see, guys, they're, like, marked right there, and they're flying. Those drones are supposed to help us. I don't want to get too close, because I can die. That guy does a decent chunk amount of damage. Start this drone too. It should be working, dude. Should be working. I'm all out of Molotovs, guys. I have none left. That's why you gotta, like, save those Molotovs before it. You get 30 Molotovs per box. So just loot a lot of them. I'm sure all of us ran out of Molotovs, so no one has Molotovs anymore. And I always just shoot him once, because if no one damages him for, like, a little bit of time, he's going to regenerate his health. Yeah, these drones... Oh, there we go. There we go. We got him. But we do so low damage, though. He does not... He barely takes damage. Okay, we're pretty close. We're gonna probably just try to kill him with once. Literally one point of damage. Man, this is like the worst situation ever. No one has Molotovs, we can't do anything. So I'm really not sure what else we're supposed to do if we run out of Molotovs. There's probably no other way to kill him. Oh, there we go. He flipped out. He flipped over somehow. Okay, skip that cutscene. We're done. We finished it. And here comes our heli, once again, in the same spot. I think this is where we ended our tutorial, this is where we end this oh, Wally mission. So we did get skill points and cash. That's a lot of skill points, but not a lot of combat XP. Anyways, this is like a PvE update, guys. I'm not really a fan of this update because the Hope Valley takes forever, like 20 minutes, man. That's way too long. But not sure if I will do Hope Valley ever again. But yeah. They added these new furniture types, which I'm sure a lot of people would like. I don't buy furniture though. I don't really play in the server anymore, guys, because I told you I play on EU. I don't know what this is, but this looks interesting. This type of ceiling, dude. And I think this is the new furniture, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, man, Life After comes out with new updates and it's always new wallpapers, new furniture and all of that. But I'm not like a fan of building my house. Oh, and they added this shutter or window type, I don't know, this door, whatever you call it. And it's in glass. It opens up once you... Yeah, it's called a glass lighting, I guess. Glass lighting door. But yeah, once again, guys, I don't build my manor. And I don't spend real money to build my manor, so... I'm not like that rich rich guy but yeah that's it for this update guys sorry for not uploading life after isn't coming out with any of huge updates for now so i can't really make any of those videos i am planning to make a couple of videos on eu server though and there are some beginner guides that i still haven't made so i'm thinking about making those anyways if you enjoyed this video guys leave a like leave some feedback in the comment section and if you want more videos you're always free to subscribe thanks for watching once again and peace out